Okay, guys. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Hartel Life. Uh, we are here at Cal Poly. We're going to do tough and dirty slide today, which is one trail of many within the Cuesta grade. It's probably one of the lesser known, or maybe it's not one of the lesser known, it's just, it's separated from the other trails and we're gonna give it a shot. I've done, it, I've done this once. I might do this maybe, I might have two attempts today to see if I do any better. Get back in the sun here. And uh, yeah, uh, beautiful day today. It's like in the 60s. This is kind of the riding weather we've all been waiting for in California. So when this happens, you just got to get out there and get it on. So I'll meet you up there. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey. good, how are you? Good. I decided not to do the little huck. Not feeling very acrobatic today. So tough and dirty slide. It's not that long. It's about, like you said, it's about six, eight minutes, depending how you ride it. Um, it is very loose. I don't know if that's where it gets the slide part, but uh, yeah, it could be kind of a harrowing trail. But I do remember liking it when I got here, so. Oh, terrible at these little, I think I got more room than I thought. Absolutely terrible at those little junctures. Easy way down. <clears throat> okay, I admit, I don't remember much of this. Had to be out of shape in July. Or any time, but just July. Oh, come on now. Ooh, where do I go? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's the sketchy uh freaking battle of the bulge here. Yeah, I'm not going over a bob wire. Sorry guys. One little mistake and I'm falling into bob wire. So as much as you'd like to see me do that, I'm not going to do that.
Oh, don't make me that one. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, it's a, Have a great weekend. Yeah, you too. Alright, I think I just missed a whole bunch of shit. Whee. look hard though. If I'm gonna slide it's because I'm going too slow. Let's try it again. Oh yeah. Sometimes you just gotta trust your bike. I think my arms and hands are still shaking down that hill. That is a very hard packed, very misleading, I mean, too much speed and you don't have the right suspension, you're just gonna bounce right off of it. It's not hard, it's just, I don't know, my uh, rock shocks don't do great with uh, those hard packed, bumpy, you know, clay, central coast trails that you're just pointing and praying that you uh you know you modulate the brakes just right and you've got i don't know the right body posture on the bike uh which i thought i did i was a little sketchy up there i felt like i was hitting the brake too much so i kind of had to let go ease off and uh Maybe just half break. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Somebody's coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that trail is over way too quick. It's got, a, it's got good flow to it. And if you're familiar with it, you probably don't have to hit the brakes too hard. Just let yourself go. And, uh, you know, and experience it the way it should be. I'm a little brake heavy, and that's just something I'm gonna have to get used to. We're not used to, but I gotta get better about not braking too much. Maybe just going for that first jump and not doing a second attempt. But, you know, it's fine. He's way down. Come on, brakes. <laughs> brakes were like, oh God, I can't do it. It is July. 
It is July 2nd. Two days before July 4th. Got a three day weekend. I'm still uh, cutting my skinnies from the pepper wood that was cut down. So I got a good project to do when I move into the townhouse. Enjoy guys, thank you very much. I only meet the nicest people on these trails. Really, just people who want to get out and do something with their day for July. I mean, you can't beat this. I think it's like barely 66, 67. Hear me over the wind? I don't think my dead cat does a good job. I might have to get another mod. We'll see. Uh, the dissector did a pretty good job. Happy with that. Uh, what else? You know, besides not being able to uh, ride up the hill without walking the bike twice, I think I did pretty good. I really just got to do a ride or two every week to get back into the swing of things. So a fantastic ride coming down a tough and dirty slide. Uh, no, no spills, although that last bit of, uh, you know, Clankety chunk it was uh, pretty scary. Uh, rock shocks aren't made for that, or at least not for a long period of time for that. Uh, anyway, uh, it was great to be back in the bike. Um, hope to uh, go out of the area and maybe find some new trails because I'm starting to uh, dry up on trails I've never done before. The uh, new rotor's doing great. I actually think I might change the center line out for another rotor 180 or something better than the center line. As we all know, the uh, SRAM center lines aren't the best. Um, they'll get you there, but um, not the greatest stopping power. Thanks for riding with Hardtail Life and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.